everyone. In the previous video, I went through a GPS module PA 1010D and for this video, I actually got a dev board by Adafruit based on that module. So we're going to explore how to use the dev board and uh, using other protocols such as um, I2C along with UART hardware serial as well as software serial and also parse the data that uh, comes with the Arduino firmware built by Adafruit. So let's go through the module in the first step. So this is the dev board provided by the Adafruit. Now this dev board is built around mini GPS PA1010D. PA1010D is uh, actually from CD Top Technologies, but it is also good to know that this uh, module itself is built around MTK3333 by MediaTek. So this is uh, the module, which is also um, all-in-one multi-GNSS uh, system on chip. And it's good to get to know the data sheet in case we need to uh, know more about the lower abstraction layers. I also recommend going through Adafruit tutorial that has extensive documentation on it. And finally, we will also be making use of the open source firmware, which is available on GitHub, especially this folder, which are full of examples. Now this folder might have a lot of examples, but there are three things to take note of. We can use the Arduino firmware for hardware serial, for I2C, as well as the software serial. So there are many options available. So basically, uh, this is what I have in my hands right now. The module itself along with a custom PCB that I made as well as Adafruit dev board. So for the next segment, let's dive into the I2C protocol. So for this, I'll be using two dev boards. One is the Arduino Uno, the quintessential, the very basic one. And the second one that I'll be using is based out of SAMD21G. Uh, which is also Arduino M0. So in the examples, we will uh, use the I2C protocol. And the first uh, thing that we'll do with I2C is the echo test. So when we open the echo test example, it is really, really a short code, fairly simple. So I'm gonna flash this into for the Arduino Uno. So there you see, I have already abstracted out the code here. The next thing we have to ensure is the wiring or the connection between the pins. And it is really simple. We have to ensure that the GPS module is powered by 3.3 volts. And because we are using the I2C protocol, only the SDA and the SCL pins are connected. And finally, of course, the ground. So basically there are four connections. So why don't we go ahead and flash this firmware in? All right, so looks like it has flashed it into AVR Uno Arduino. So I will check the serial monitor with the port and the board rate. And there you see the NEMA strings are coming in, but of course I do not have a GPS fix. So this is via the I2C protocol. Now the second board that I want to try along with the Arduino Uno is the Arduino Zero. And for this, if I want to use the USB CDC, I have to rename the serial from serial to serial USB. So this is the code for Arduino Uno where I'm using serial.begin, serial.println, but for the M0 code, I will be using serial USB. And once again, for the wiring, it is very, very similar as well. The V in for the GPS module is 3.3 volts. And because I'm using the I2C protocol, I'm connecting the SDA and SCL. And finally, the ground pins are connected. So once again, let's go ahead and flash the firmware in. So once it has flashed it in, let's go ahead and check out the serial monitor. So the serial monitor looks exactly the same as Arduino Uno as well. Uh, the NEMA strings are coming in without a fix because I'm indoor. And this is how the connections basically look like. Four simple wires connecting from the Arduino board to the GPS module. Now in the next step, we will try to get a GPS fix and especially discover the property that uh, the one PPS pin has for this module. Now one PPS pin is an electrical signal which uh, basically happens every second. And by default, it is always on with or without the fix in the original module. But in the Adafruit, if we search for PPS, we will see that it is configured to blink red when only there is a GPS fix. So let's check out the schematic for the Adafruit dev board. As you can see, the GPS module is right here and one of the pin is one PPS, which is configured in the case of Adafruit dev board to blink 
only when there is a GPS fix. That is because the PPS pin is connected to a red LED. So I basically brought it outdoors so that I do have a GPS fix. And here you can see that the PPS LED is actually blinking after it is connecting to the satellites in view. For the next step, let's try to get the data parsed. And this really depends on what programming language or firmware you, we are using. But because we are using the Arduino Adafruit provided GPS, it already comes with the capability to parse the data. So if you come to the examples here, we will already see some parsing examples. For example, if you are using the hardware serial, there is a parsing example, I2C1 as well as a software serial. So for in this case, let's try to use the hardware serial parsing. So here you will see as part of the parsing, the first important thing that we'll try to do is to get the RMC and the GGA data out of all the NEMA sentences. That's because these are the most important and it gives us the most number of data. And finally, at the end of the code, you will see that it will be printing out the time, uh, the latitude, longitude, speed, angle and many other information. Next is the connection and because we are using the hardware serial the V in in this case will be 3.3 volts same as I2C but the connections will be a little simpler. In this case we'll just connect the TX line to the RX and finally as always the ground pins are all connected. So this is how my code looks like. I've taken it from the Adafruit library once again. So why don't we go ahead and uh, flash it and once it's flashed in let's check out the serial monitor and let me connect and this is how it looks like. And of course, as you can see, uh, there is no GPS fix, fix is zero. The time is also zero and uh, there is no data because I'm indoors. So I actually went outdoors again this time. So why don't I replay that data with the GPS fix? So there you see, I was at the park and I got a GPS fix with the PPS LED blinking. And this is exactly how the parse data looks like. You can see that I got my fix. The quality is also one. I got the date, the time, along with speed, angle, altitude, and even the number of satellites. So for the last segment, I just want to touch a little bit on the logging functionality as well as the software serial. Now I did not, uh, or rather I do not intend to use them in my projects, but they can come in handy uh, based on the projects that we are doing. So this GPS module actually has a logging capability because it has an internal flash. As you can see in the examples, as part of the hardware serial, as well as the software serial, there's something called Locus, which is their logging capability. So I actually used the start function uh, as part of the logging and I tried it out in the park. Let's see how it looks like. So there you see I've started logging and it is only displaying the GNGGA and RMC. As at first it did not have the fix as you can see there were lots of commas and then it started having the GPS fix within just a few seconds. The final thing that I want to touch is the software serial. Now the software serial is very, very similar to the hardware serial, which uses the hard coded TX and the RX pin. The only difference is in the software serial, we can actually define the pin numbers uh, that we intend to set in software. So that's a quick overview about this dev board by Adafruit based on the GPS module PA1010D. I had quite some fun with it because of the various options available and fantastic examples. For example, the hardware serial, software serial, I2C, along with the capability to parse the data. I found this module uh, pretty interesting, so I will be using it in one of my upcoming projects, hobby projects. But uh, if you want to use this module, one thing to take note is that if you want to get a GPS fix, you really had to uh, get the module out in the open, in the clear view of the satellites. Otherwise, it was pretty fun for me to use. So I hope you give this module a try if you're considering to use a GPS module, a tiny one in this case.